27 and today is actually going to be a lollipop holder that is a witch's cauldron or just a cauldron in general. Um, and it's super quick and easy with the idea that you can make multiple um, and not, not spend your whole Halloween season working on just making lollipop holders and wondering why the heck you did that to yourself. So if you needed to whip out a classroom set of these, they shouldn't take very long at all. There will be, um, spoiler alert, maybe one more in the 13 day countdown. And then um, there will be a set of five of them actually in the big mega bundle. So if you haven't already signed up for the quick access pass, get that now because then that way you can get a head start on the files that I'm giving away in this 13 days. Or you can um, just purchase the whole huge mega bundle and get way more layouts and cards and lollipop holders and popcorn wraps and all of the fun stuff. So with that said, we are ready to go ahead and make our next file. I'm going to delete this and we are going to upload our lollipop holder. So I'm just going to navigate to where that's at and then you want to upload the SVG file because that's what tells your Cricut how to actually cut the lines. So once you've uploaded that or you've clicked on it, selected it, click upload and then click it one more time so that it has the green bounding box and add to canvas. And now that we're in here, there isn't anything really that we need to prep in here other than score lines. So I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to slide down here in my layers panel until I can find those score lines. I'm wondering what this is. It's just a little chatter thingy. I will clean those out so that they're not there when you're ready to make this. I'm not sure what happened there with that design. There were some extra things left over I think from when I was cutting the file. Okay. So you should have two score lines and then we are, and we know they're score lines because they're red and you can tell that they're both red because we've got that up here as a color option. I'm going to go to my operation and click score and then I'm going to weld these to the cauldron base which is hiding from me right there. So I'm going to hold my shift key and click on it and then attach those and then I'm going to just do a really quick check um, in my make it to make sure that everything is where it supposed to be and I don't have like any circles floating in other places or anything like that. Okay, and it looks good. Super basic, just the three colors. Um, should be quick and easy. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and get mine made. You do the same and we will meet back here to set it up. All right, you should have all your pieces cut and ready to go. I've kind of sorted mine a little bit based on like front, back, top, bottom, whatever. Um, the Cricut was not nice to this glitter paper on this cut. You can see on the inside it didn't like making that corner. And I'm not sure if that's just because it was a corner or what, because it does those pretty smooth. But you can see it kind of chattered on the end of that too. Um, anyway, you should have a big one and a little one. Medium, medium, small, small for front and back. And then um, we are ready to just start gluing. I'm not going to do any foam dots or anything on this one just because I want to keep it simple and the glitter kind of already zhuzhes it up a bit so I don't feel like we need much more other than that. So I'm going to start with the um, cauldron pot I guess or like the inside of the cauldron where the potion's hanging out and you should have a little bit of a outline all the way around the edges okay and then I want the steam to kind of happen behind the bubbles, so I'll probably do that next, but I'm going to do each of these first, and then I'll just flip it around so it's easier to see. Maybe if I can get that off. There we go. Okay, so once you have the cauldron potion inside the cauldron, then I'm going to go ahead and do... My, my little steam, the purple steams in this case. Okay, so you're gonna have to like make sure that they're top and bottom the right way. Top and bottom, because your curl's gonna 
be dependent. There we go. And then this one goes here. I think, nope, here. That one goes there. And this one goes there. You can't just sort them, sort them. Okay. So do the steam. And obviously, depending on the time you have, if you want to go ahead and add foam dots for your um, for your bubbles, you can. It, that's just a matter of preference. I am happy with my glitter glue or my glitter pieces, and I just want to make these quick. So, like if I were making them for favors or something, I knew I could assembly line them pretty fast. And if you've got a sticker maker, like the Xyron sticker maker, that would be perfect time to run these little tiny pieces through there so that you could just pull each of these up as a sticker and not have to worry about the glue. That'd be super handy. Like they make the, the little X size, but then they make the next size up where you can just lay them flat and kind of run them through like a laminator. Actually, you can change out the cartridges for laminators and magnets and stuff too. And that would be perfect for these. If I remember while I'm editing, I will link it down below so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I had one in my classroom and I've used it for scrapbooking as well. And it's amazing when you've got a lot of things that you need to stick. And then the whole like little tiny lamination so that you don't have to like, don't have to warm up your huge hot laminator just to do a little tiny thing, especially name plates and things like that. I would just run it through that quick laminator because you could just, it just kind of was like a lamination page sticker front and back. Good to know too, if you ever want to make anything like laminated or sticky or not sticky, but shiny to put on. So there's one of these that's a little bit bigger and it's the one that goes right here. And that is because, um, that bubble was kind of floating and it needed to be connected to everything else. And so I just made the bubble a little bigger and then connected it in the back on the black. I've got a little bit of space there. It doesn't want to reach with the glue. And one of these days I'm going to practice using tweezers and get good at that. But right now I'm not. And so I just use my fingernails because I haven't had time to work on it. I'd imagine it's like using utensils or whatever. The more you do it, the better you get at it, but they just weren't a thing when I first started scrapbooking, and so I've never used them, but I like the way that it looks like it's so much easier to hold things. I just can't ever catch the things to hold. I think if you had um, some kind of adhesive, like the Xyron to make this into stickers too, those would stick a whole lot faster than waiting for your glue to dry. Not that this is like a very long process, obviously. We're doing it pretty fast. And if you were mass producing, this would be pretty quick and easy. Or you can get the kids involved. Let's see, that one went there. The fun thing about these is they could be used for decorations around the house too once you're done. Or even with the lollipops in them, that you could put them like in a centerpiece or something. Okay, I'm gonna give those just a second to kind of dry before I start messing with stuff. Foam dots might have actually been easier there just because of the the thickness of my glitter paper is just enough that it's not making contact with my glue in the back unless I kind of press it down into those crevices. Okay, and I didn't fold on the score line, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you might have to trim your sucker depending on how much it's wrapped to kind of get it down in that hole. It, um, 
it fit the stick itself fits in the hole but the wrapper might not and so you might have to trim just a little depending on the sucker I didn't trim this one from the last time I used it so I'm just gonna cut some of the plastic off without unwrapping it hopefully Cutter bees for the win again. Okay, so then you just stick that through the hole. Line it up in your little cauldron hole there. I kind of like to do mine with the label not there so that it's just the color of the lollipop. And then you can either use double-sided sticky tape to hold the whole thing closed or foam tape if you want a little bit more dimension. But super quick and easy. Great little party favor or you could send them to school for the classroom party. Quick, easy get the kids involved. There you go. That is day seven of our 13 day Halloween countdown. Please hit subscribe, the notification bell, share with your friends and come back for tomorrow's file. We are already on day eight, more than halfway through and there's still lots of fun things to be had. Thanks for watching.